Hello, I'm John Quayle, pre-sales consultant for Anywhere 365 located in EMEA, and I'm going to be taking you through a quick presentation and demonstration of the features and capabilities of Anywhere 365. It's worth saying at this point, Anywhere 365 was the first Microsoft Teams connected contact centre to be certified by Microsoft, and that's enabled us to have an early start in developing some tools for Microsoft Teams and Office 365. We're going to start by looking at some of our key differentiators as a product. So as well as being a team certified contact center, we integrate with the entire Office 365 solution. So customers that are already subscribing to Office 365 can leverage SharePoint, the Power Platform, and Power BI to deliver services to agents. If something doesn't exist in Office 365, that's where our dialog cloud can fill in those gaps. We have an open API with a graphical programming environment. This is different from a typical drag and drop IVR layout. We allow our our customers to connect to any open API with a REST endpoint or even um, AI frameworks, allowing them to use their own choice of solutions, being able to develop those using a low code environment, not having to rely on costly developers to produce advanced outcomes. Our contact center as a platform allows unlimited agents to use the core functionality of the product. If an organization suddenly requires to scale up their agent count, they can do so without there being a licensed tariff. We allow customers to bring their own PSTN service. This can be an exist existing direct routing as a service provider, it can be on-premise equipment connected to legacy telephony, or it can simply be their own SIP provider they've been using for a long time. We don't charge per minute, we allow customers to bring their own PSTN services. We're also integrated with Microsoft Azure. We use Azure SQL as a service for our backend storage. We also use Azure AD for authentication and any access control an organization might require. We're also the only Teams contact center solution that allows listening, whispering, and call barge. Anywhere 365 Dialog Cloud is hosted in Microsoft Azure. We currently have points of presence in North America, Northern Europe, and Asia, Asia Pacific, which you can see um, before you now. We can also rapidly deploy in-region instances for organizations that require a local breakout for either regulatory or architectural reasons. Looking at our architecture, we can follow the journey of a call from ingress to delivery to an agent. You can see that we have PSTN call coming here to a session border controller, typically, typically connected to Teams direct routing. Our dialogue cloud will be watching for calls on that SBC that are destined for the contact center. We will answer any calls, play any messages, perform any AI based routing and select an agent as a routing candidate. The way we select an agent for a call route is using two sources of information. We'll use the configuration stored in SharePoint inside the customer's tenant, which we will poll. We will also request their presence from teams using the Graph API. Once an agent is selected for call routing, we'll route the call to them using direct routing, and we'll also surface information in the agent desktop using the Anywhere 365 web agent. While that call's in progress, it will be recorded in our dialogue cloud any metadata and events for that call will also be recorded. Once that call is complete, the recording or call transcription will be uploaded to SharePoint. The metadata about the call will be uploaded to Azure SQL as a service and the cache will be removed from the dialog cloud. Only transient data remains in the Anywhere 365 dialog cloud with all data at rest remaining inside the customer's boundaries of control. We're now gonna have a look at a live demonstration. We're going to begin our demonstration looking at our configuration utility used for managing call flows and building agent workspaces. This is built within Microsoft SharePoint. And this is a template that all our customers are given to deploy within their tenant. We query this using an API key. I'm going to show you some simple configuration steps. On the dialog management, we can select IVR and we're taken to a list. We can follow this top to bottom and see the journey a call would take. Permissions for this utility can be delegated to contact center managers on a granular basis. IVR management is a key one where we like to empower the contact center manager to do this themselves. We can manage welcome messages from here. We can manage things such as queued callback, which is a native feature. We can also manage our IVR question queue from here. Changing any of these questions takes us to a simple form where we use data validation and customized forms based on the task. This is an example of a option off an IVR menu, which simply says press one on the keypad. 
and this forwards to an accounts team. Rather than forwarding to a group of agents, we forward to agents that have the skill to handle the query. In this case, all calls routing to the account skill will route to agents appropriately skilled. Agents can be simply managed from within this interface by simply going into the agent list and their score can be allocated appropriately from here. We can also allocate the management of business hours, upcoming holidays automatically from within this configuration tool as well. We won't go into a full deep dive here, just in interests of available time, but this is our key configuration utility for both agents and also for um, IT professionals. For advanced feature sets, we can use a tool called Dialog Studio, and this is our graphical IVR and API. This is a simple configuration we've built, and I'll take you through the journey of a call. It's worth saying that Anywhere 365 have developed proprietary nodes here, and this is deployed in IBM Node Red. If organizations want to use any third party tools, they can integrate them using this without calling upon developers. This is a simple interaction using Google Dialog Flow that will do an intent match to route a call rather than relying on an IVR key press. Incoming calls can easily be identified by using a trigger. We can use text to speech to play a neural voice or also invoke a recording. Anything said by the customer is going to be automatically transferred to Google Dialog Flow, which will be reduced to an intent. So the same, or, same technology we're used to speaking with Siri, Alexa, or Google Assistant. We'll then deduce from the statement made by a customer which skill they need to go to. Some of these are going to use CRM-based routing. So we have a call here that is routing and greeting the customer by their first name and sending them to whoever owns the record in CRM. We have a generic sales queue, and we also have some dynamic data here stored for information such as parking, business hours, so we can perform some call deflection. This entire workflow has been configured without writing any code at all. If customers need to take this to another level, we can, we can integrate and use some basic JavaScript. We can also allow customers to use any third-party nodes required to achieve the integration with the systems they have. We're now going to have a look at the agent interface for Anywhere 365. The agent interface is embedded within Teams the same way the Teams applications currently are. Agents that are currently used to participating in an organization remotely using the digital workspace of Microsoft Teams can now use it to enable contact center workloads. Agents can still have peer-to-peer -peer chat interactions the same way they always have. They can participate in chat-based workspace and document co-authoring. They can have their own personal DDI to make and receive calls without impacting the contact center. If they want to manage their contact center workloads. They simply need to open the Anywhere 365 web agent. This will authenticate using single sign-on using the credentials supplied to Microsoft Teams. Again, using any password and access control policies the organization has applied in Azure Active Directory. Now we're in the web agent, we can have a look at some of the controls that are available to us. We can see that we have our presence. This is synchronized with Microsoft Teams. If an agent is busy for any reason, this will automatically apply to the contact center and presence is a key part of our routing decision making. If an agent needs to explain their presence just, the, just for the purposes of contact center supervision or for reports, they can choose a reason code here. We're going to select training for this example. This means that this agent will be marked as being in training rather than simply being marked as busy, giving that enhanced information. When they're ready, they can simply clear the reason code and set themselves to being available within Teams. Agents can also manage their participation in each of the queues they are a member of. Here you can see at the top, this agent can sign in and out of the queue. Below, they're actually locked into the contact center, which means their participation, participation is being managed by a supervisor or by a predefined rotor. We're gonna to route a call through now to the contact center, and we'll follow that journey through with the queue view that we have open now. We can see this call is going to be placed in the queue and routed to me as an agent. As soon as the call is presented, we bring some information up. So we can see we've done a CRM match for this particular contact and brought up their record and personal name. So we don't have to keep multiple different address books for the contact center, we can simply query the CRM. In this case, we're connected to, connected to the Dynamics 365. 
So we can simply open the case history from here and have a look at um, previous interactions there. We can manage our call recording while the call's in progress. Recording is set to be enabled by default for this particular queue. So we can see we can actually pause that recording, we can resume it, or we can stop it. This is also controllable by an API if you need to integrate to third party payment gateways. We have some simple call controls here as well. So we can hang the call up, we can transfer the call, mute the call, invite an additional participant, or place the call on hold. If we want to transfer this call, we can choose someone from our contact list and actually use a drag and drop transfer, performing either a consultative transfer or conferencing them into the call and transferring them live. When an agent completes a call, they can hang the call up. They'll then be presented with a classification window, allowing them to choose from any classifications that have been put in the configuration. We're going to put this down as a repair call. Once we hit save, mark as handled, that completes the call. I've just sent an email through to the contact center and we'll see this appear in the queue on the right hand side. We're choosing not to force asynchronous dialogues to agents at the moment, so we can pick this out of the queue manually and choose to accept it. Now we can see the email that's come through. We can reply. We can also forward this to a different area of the contact center if we need to. We've also brought up our previous contacts on the left hand side, so we know if someone else has dealt with this customer previously. We can reply either using free type messages or we can choose from some predefined responses. We're simply going to respond with a hello here. For asynchronous channels like email and social media interactions, we don't want agents to be fully engaged or waiting for a reply from a customer. If the agent doesn't wrap up this dialogue, any future replies to this thread will come straight into this agent's view. They won't go into the queue but the agent can still manage voice calls. When a call comes through, they'll be presented in a similar way. So the agent will receive a pop-up notification that a call is waiting for them. When that call is answered, the web agent will take them to the call view. Anytime the agent can move back and have a look at their email dialogue, they'll be notified if any replies do come through. Once they've completed their call that requires the instant attention, they can move back and wait for their email dialogue. Finally, if they need to, they complete their email, classifying in the same way as a call, and the agent is now ready to receive a new inbound call. We're now gonna look at a chat scenario where a customer is gonna start speaking to an organization via an embedded web chat application. The initial conversation is gonna be handled by an AI bot. When the bot decides that this conversation needs to be escalated to an agent, we'll see the transfer to the agent. Finally, the agent is going to ask to escalate this call to a phone call. On the left hand side lower screen, you can see the web chat application for Anywhere 365. Above that is the customer's mobile device. On the right hand side, we see the Anywhere 365 web agent, which, was, which is where we'll see routing through to the agent. The web chat application can either pop up a message after a predefined amount of time of the customer being on a web page, or it can simply start the conversation. Here, we're just advertising the feature to the customer. The customer is going to complete this and say they've got a problem with a particular product and send that message through. The bot is going to offer them a greeting and then start to perform some data collection. We can see they're asking for a serial number, which the customer is going to supply. The bot's going to ask them the nature of the issue. And at this point, the bot's going to decide they need to be transferred through to an agent. It's worth noting here, the agent on the right hand side can see there's a dialogue in action with the bot. And you're going to notice this will change from web chat to bot escalation as it comes through to the agent. The agent presented with the chat history, they can click continue and they simply follow on the dialogue as another participant. At this point, you'll see the agent ask for the customer's mobile number. When we see a number appear in the chat, we're going to automatically create a call for this agent. First thing we'll do is we'll route a call to the agent to make sure they're secured in the queue. As soon as the agent asks, answers the inbound call, we'll establish an outbound leg to the customer. So the first thing we'll see is an inbound call dialogue. And that's being routed through to the agent now. As soon as that agent answers, You'll notice on the left hand side, we'll see the mobile device start to ring. And there's the inbound call there. 
and we'll see on the customer's device, the call will ring. There's the inbound call, the customer's answered, and they're now connected through to an agent. The agent can easily traverse between the chat messages and the current incoming call, and these will both be connected together as a dialogue for that particular customer. We can now look at how an agent can manage multiple simultaneous web chat sessions. An agent might need to move chat messages to a department that's more appropriate to handle the query, or they may need to clear capacity to handle another more important dialogue. To do this, the agent needs to click the transfer button, choose the queue they're going to transfer the skill into. We can just do a simple type message here, click transfer, and the call will appear in that queue. Now, the queue the agent is forwarding the calls or the chat dialogues to, they are also a member of. So you can see now they've cleared their chat dialogues, they can easily jump in and retrieve them the same way any other agent could. For purpose of example, I'm going to pick this one back up and you can see the full chat transcript stays with the dialogue. So any agent that receives this can see all the previous interactions and handle a simultaneous dialogue with a particular customer. Finally, in this last stage of the demonstration, we're going to have a look at real-time and historical reporting and also a bit of supervisor functionality too. In front of you, you can see our web wall board, and this is a live view of the contact center showing statistics from the last 24 hours. You can see we have 100% SLA here, as well as some headline figures, such as the longest wait in the queue, the current amount of calls waiting, and the average wait time. We can see calls that are currently taking place. Here you can see my agent is currently engaged in a call with technical support, and we can see the amount of time that call has been in progress. We can also see other agents here. We can see the amount of time they have been in their current present state since the last change. So we're able to actually start a countdown. Every time that changes, we can see how long agents have been available or how long they've been on a call for. As a supervisor, I can also open an application from my system tray called the Snapper. And this will show us some information um, based on the UCC. So here I can again see some headline statistics. I can see some meters showing the amount of agents in various different states. And if I need to, I can view my agents by name and by availability too. Clicking on the conversations tab can show us the different categories of calls. We can see calls and incoming chats that are in the incoming bot or IVR. We can see messages waiting to be connected to agents. And finally, we can see connected dialogues here. This agent is currently engaged in a call, and as a supervisor, I can perform some whisper activities. Clicking these three buttons allows me to listen to the call. If I click this, I'll be routed a call and just hear everything the agent and customer are saying. If I click whisper, I'll be able to speak and only be heard by the agent. Finally, I can hit the speak button and join that call as a third party. The agent can then progress to leave and I can take over the call. All of our historical reporting is built into Power BI. And we can see this here. We give our customers a template. They can deploy this into Power BI inside their Office 365 subscription. We can also customize this if required, or some of our partner community do as well. We're going to look at a few high level reports. The first one being an hourly report. This can be used for scheduling and resource planning, showing us a heat map of calls relative to our busiest periods and easiest periods. Finally, looking at our dialogue overview can show us the entire journey a call has been through. Clicking any one of these, we can do a deep dive and we can see every single event that has happened on this call as it's passed through the contact center. Each one being timestamped with an appropriate level of information next to it. We can also access our recall call recordings from here. If there isn't a report in our standard template that shows a customer what they need to see, you can see the data here is being captured, so it's simply a case of surfacing the data in a meaningful way. This concludes our demonstration, and thank you very much for your attention.